It needed to be different than a program and different than an event. It needed to really go deep into our, into our soul and become part of our culture of who we are and how we look out for each other. Still Hopes had, um, over time, seen a, a change in our workers' comp claims and activities, so we, we noticed that we had more folks getting injured on the job. Not serious injuries, but just a lot of small injuries, things that we thought could be better. So we started back in 2012 and decided that we were going to create a culture of safety. It started with the leadership team coming together, working as a committee, looking at our policy and looking at what needed to be in the policy to be successful. So we came together and uh, put together a plan where we changed the policy, we came up with an incentive program, and we wanted to find out how to do that where it could be fun, where we could keep it in the thoughts and in the forefront of the employees' minds day in and day out. We found out when we would do our safety program in the month of June every year, the one of the things that the employees loved coming and getting was their candy because we would have a candy bar that we would hand out in the month of June. So we, we, we used that foundation. We thought, well, if they like that, let's do that every month and provide them with a candy bar. And it's a way where they come into the office and we're able to go, here, have a candy bar, but go stay safe and go enjoy your workplace today. Everybody likes to get money, so one of the ways that we did that was come up with an incentive plan program that encouraged our workers to work safe and, and have a reward at the end. And that campaign was a way to involve the employees' children and get them to write an essay about how to keep their parents safe at work. And then uh, the posters are around our community where we swap those out each month. Every week our leadership team goes out, they wear a safety vest so that everybody knows that they're out looking for uh, good work practices and those things that we need to improve upon. And I believe keeping them out there every week, talking to our employees about safety, working through the safety issues, um, that's how we keep it at the forefront. I'm really proud of the guys in my department. Um, I think we do have one of the potentially most dangerous departments. Um, being that we're out in the elements, the heat, the cold, the rain, um, this year the bugs, but we also deal with chemicals um, and then powerful equipment that you could easily get hurt on. So um, I just stress it's important to my guys, just you're always aware of what you're doing, um, always aware of what's around you, and uh, we always wear our PPE, our personal protective uh, equipment. And um, for us, um, it's mandatory. We, I, I ask my guys to wear glasses to protect their eyes, um, either earbuds or headphones to protect their ears and then they also have the choice if they want to wear a dust mask if it's really dusty outside. Uh, but the big thing is just I think I mean sometimes things need to get done but I always tell my guys I'd rather you take a little bit longer to do it and just be aware of what's around you and just be careful because you know we don't want any of the residents or visitors um, getting hurt. I think we've, we've created a, a, um, a first-class program. It's gotten the attention of the insurance uh, company to the point that they created an award to give us for how much improvement they saw, and we've sustained the improvement. So that's it's, it's we've got some of the best things going on that I've ever seen in my career for any industry, especially for CCRCs, uh, with all the healthcare that we do and, and how safe we're working.